Hi, you're welcome to Greenville for a very short video to complement my blog that I've just published today about some of the presses here at the house. And I'm starting with my kitchen press, which is the one behind me. And I love this press. It's extremely functional, but it's also very pretty to look at, in my opinion. I have my jars here by Ib Lorsen, the Danish designer, and they store my flowers, um, which I use every day, including my rye flour, which I use to uh, keep my sourdough starter alive. These are my sugar jars, and these smaller jars I got from Marks and Sparks online. Um, they store corn flour, bran, wheat germ. So, as I say, very accessible. I do all my baking here, so it's just a case of opening the press and I can easily see what I need and it's so, so, so um, convenient. On the top, I have my uh, beautiful coffee sets. I love this one in particular. This was a set I got from Claire and Lily. Um, um, it's really beautiful. It's art, it's art deco. And uh, I use that on special occasions. This is a jug that Liz O'Donnell uh, gave me a few years ago. It has a beautiful enamel interior. It's wonderful for keeping custard warm. I use it a lot at Christmas time in particular. It's also art, art deco. And of course, my African inspired uh, cups here. I also love those. So this is a press that is very functional and something I love to look at every day. So in my opinion, it's also a humble work of art. Second press, my jewellery press, another one that I absolutely adore and I wanted to just bring to your attention a couple of the pieces that I mentioned in my blog, like my precious button earring belonging to my Nana Breen, my late Nana Breen, that I'm going to have made into a, a ring. It's brass and it's really, really pretty. I love that and it's very, very precious to me. Um, the brooch belonging to my mother. I have lots of things belonging to my mother. But I love this. It's a claw and I remember her wearing it and it has a purple uh, stone. She loved the colour purple and so do I. And this brooch that I got from my cousin Fina was belonging to my late Aunt Maisie. And that also has a purple stone, very similar to the one in my mother's brooch. So that's my little purple box. I have all of my jewellery organised um, in boxes according to colour. And these are the earrings that Natalie Dinaire gave me when I was an au pair in France back when I was 19. She was always getting rid of things and throwing things out. So I was very happy about that, as you can imagine. I used to get very, very excited. So it's lovely to still have these today. So again, it's a press that gives me great inspiration when I'm dressing up to go out or even when I'm not dressing up and staying at home and just want some inspiration. I can look in my jewellery box and I can... I can really enjoy that. The ring I'm wearing today actually was just a piece of uh, lead, I think, that a plumber threw on the ground when they were working here years ago. And I thought it was really, it was really gorgeous. So I had that made into a ring as well. So it's amazing what you can do if you just, I suppose, look at things differently. One. And finally, my press of dolls. This is a cupboard that came from uh, the cottage. It's old. Um, it was used to store shelf, that's what these would traditionally have been used for, and painted to brighten it up with a glossy paint. So I like the fact that it's a bit distressed and it still has some of the old paint marks from when, when we found it. And inside I have my Dolls of the World, a collection that I started to uh, get from in the 90s. I have most of the collection, I'm getting the ones I hadn't uh, succeeded to find then. Now, sometimes they go online, you can get them on eBay. So I'm just going to show you quickly the two that I like most. Well, there's several I like, but I really love my Japanese doll. Isn't she beautiful in her colourful kimono? And her hair is so perfectly uh, done as well. She's just gorgeous. And the Irish doll, of course, is very precious in the collection. She has lovely long red hair and she's wearing a beautiful green dress. What else? Being Irish, of course. Um, and let me see, is there any other one that I could bring to your attention? Well, my Senegal doll, isn't she just beautiful? And she has her curly hair and it's all done with a beautiful hat. It's really lovely. 
So uh, I love that collection and people talk and enjoy it a lot when they're staying here with us. And this little doll, believe it or not, is nearly 150 years old and I found it in my grandparents' house in Shanical. It's broken, it's very distressed, but I would imagine it's what possibly my Aunt Josie played with as a child or maybe even earlier than that. Um, it's really, really unusual, um, but very precious to me because I know its history and I know where it came from. So I hope that this little video will give you more ideas as to how you can do imaginative things with your presses and with the items you have in your homes that you want to keep and preserve because they are all part of our heritage. So thank you for listening. Do please read my blog and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.